Okay guys, how's everyone going? So today, I'm gonna talk about the lone wolf prepper, why you shouldn't be a lone wolf prepper, what you'll need if you want to become a lone wolf prepper, and why life is better with people. So let's get into it. So the first is going to be the psychological effect. People are not meant to be by themselves for extended periods of time, such as a grid-down scenario, which turns out to be long-term. Uh, one of the other things is if, not if, but when you get hurt, are you going to be okay? Odds are, if it's a long-term SHTF, WROL, and or long-term grid-down scenario, odds are you are going to get hurt. And if it's long enough, odds are you might sustain a life-threatening injury. And at that point, are you going to know how to treat yourself? Another reason is you're going to be tasked with absolutely everything, gathering food, making shelter, making safe drinking water, etc. Everything will be all on you. Another reason why you shouldn't, it's not as safe being alone as it is with other people, obviously. You're not going to have anyone to watch your back while you sleep. Another reason why you shouldn't, and this is mainly pertaining to after you have all the necessities, shelter, water, food, security, etc., is little to no entertainment. And as petty as that might sound, we are social creatures, and being no entertainment, we get bored real easily. So having entertainment will be a very good blessing if you could get that. However, if you're by yourself, the odds of entertainment are very low. Another th reason why you shouldn't is if you're going the lone wolf route, if you're avoiding other people, you are likely not going to trade with other people. However, this could be different for different people. But if you're avoiding people, then trading is probably going to be off the table. Now, some of the things that you'll need will be knowledge of the area. Now, I'm going to say about 100 kilometers in range in every direction. That's about 62 miles. You'll have to know terrain, what's out there, threats, people, animals, water, mountains, trees, plains, whatever. What is going to be around you? Uh, you're going to need to have some pretty extensive medical skills. So if you do get hurt... Hopefully, you'll be able to treat yourself. Another thing that you'll need is really good bushcrafting skills. This could be so things such as building primitive buildings, primitive tools, primitive weapons, filtering and purifying water. This, I would recommend to filter it at least twice first and then boil going to need to know how to cook food properly and you're going to need to know how to store your food safely you're going to need to have good fire building skills and also you're going to need to have navigational skills another thing that a lot of people might not think about while if they are considering going the lone wolf is coping skills because you're going to be by yourself. You're going to need to know how to cope with everything on your own. 
And like I said, life is better with people. Building communities. Everybody has a task. You are not tasked to do everything on your own. You might be tasked with one or two things. As everybody has a task. Everybody has a purpose. Everybody pulls resources. And again, we are social creatures. There is safety in numbers. And that could be multiple people staying up doing security around the perimeter. So having day shift, night shift, rotating shifts for security. Another thing is since there is going to be a community, odds are everyone's going to have shelter, water, food, and security. So therefore, you could start working on having entertainment. And this will become very important in SHTF, WROL, and or a long-term grid down. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is the possibility of trade with others in your community or possibly with another community. So at this point, people might be... They might create their own communities like tribes. People might have the tribal instinct at this point and have their own small communities. They might have rule of law within these communities. And eventually, these communities might end up trading with each other. And eventually, things might return back to normal. But this would be a long ways away, especially if it's a grid down scenario. And again, just to recap on everything, you shouldn't go the lone wolf route because the odds are highly stacked against you. If you are going to go the lone wolf route, you're going to need to know bushcrafting skills, medical skills, coping skills, and knowledge of the area, and understand that life is better with people and that your chances of survival greatly increase if you're within a community that you trust. And some of you, I understand, don't trust anybody, and that's why you think it might be easier to go the lone wolf route. However, give it some deep thought. Anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Y'all have a good one.